like to farming simulator just kidding we are going to be powerpointing today because that's where all the fun is um so i was watching an argzy stream a few weeks ago and he asked the question which is best corn silage or grass silage knowing that i would probably want to find out and i am not um the question was not just which yields the most because that's pretty easy to work out but it's about um time and cost as well so efficiency and I have done the work and we're going to have a look at which gives the best yield, what the equipment costs are, how long it takes to do silage from both repair costs and fuel costs. So what did I do? I should have somewhere on the screen a time lapse of most of the gameplay playing or bits of the gameplay. Um, I ran two save games. They had a similar kit. They didn't have exactly the same kit, obviously, because they're doing different jobs. And I'll talk about that when I look at the cost. Um, same field, same farm infrastructure, I guess. Um, and they did one year of farming. So with the grass, I actually planted it in November to replicate the fact that you have an established grass pasture. You, know, you, you don't generally, I don't think you would plant grass in the spring to just use it for one year. Yeah, you know, most crops, even if you're using it as a cover crop, you can usually get grass planted in autumn or winter before you move on. So I thought that was realistic. Um, that allows us to get three using the base game GS I was playing on Obela on that allowed us to get three max growth state cuts of grass, which was obviously really cool. Um, so the field was set with easy dev tools to the wheat harvested state with um not needing lime and not needing plowing in both cases just to save me some time it was then mulched um seeded or planted for the corn i then put a mechanical weeder over it the grass did not need that it was then rolled in both cases and then got up to 100 percent fertilizing um with the corn i used a planter that had fertilizer so i only had to do that once with the grass i applied fertilizer twice um the corn was foraged with silage additive at the forage ready state so one before harvest ready um, and the grass was mown three times and then between cuts it was um, rolled with a grassland roller to get it back to 100% fertilizer um, and again I used a forage I used a pickup header on a forage harvester with silage additive so that it was consistent um, so let's go through equipment um, I used the same class modded class forage harvester for both with the appropriate header that came with it. Yes, you can get bigger forage harvesters with bigger headers, so it might be quicker. Um, all sorts of options. Same tractor, same trailer. There is a big difference in the seed up planter cost, and that was because I was trying to get a direct planter and a direct seeder that the tractor that I was using was running. Um, without being ridiculous and using a stupidly cheap one on the grass. So I can't, we'll, I'll, I'll talk about that again in a moment. Um, I just tried to keep things consistent. And you can see at the end, the grassland equipment was quite a bit more. A lot of that is in the cedar and then obviously needing mowers and windrows and things like that. I, I did have um, a smaller set of mowers with a windrower. You can obviously get bigger mowers with built-in windrowing so you can save some time there. Um, Let's say I could have used a baler or a loading wagon for the grass. That would have probably saved me some money. I'll look at that in a moment. Um, and I could have leased some of the stuff that would have, again, saved me money in the long term. But thinking about it a little bit more, a lot of farms would have some of this kit and you wouldn't buy it exclusively to do this job. 
So cutting some of those out, so tractor, trailer, planter seeders, first spreaders, weeders and rollers, um, that cuts out quite a lot of cost, but there's still a difference. So we've still got the forage harvester and its header, um, compactor and leveler for the silage. And then for the grass, we still need mowers and a wind rower. And you could argue we don't necessarily need the grassland roller. Um, we could just use a first spreader and that would save a bit of cash. And um, if we had used a forage wagon instead of a the harvester and the pickup header the forage wagon would have cost about 100 grand um so instead of the 140 odd of the harvester and the the forage harvester and the header so that would have brought a cost down to about 200,000 um if you take out the grassland roller we're down at about 175 ish um, if I'd used one of the a combi bailey, you can pick one of those up for about 84,000. We'd be down at about 186. And if you take out the grassland roller again, they're roughly the same. So there are lots of options in terms of equipment cost. And I'm not going to dwell on it too much. It, grass can cost you more. Corn can probably cost you more if you went for a bigger forage harvester. So the numbers are there for you to think about, really. Um, in terms of yield, so from the, I used the same field in both cases, as I said, um, corn, obviously we got a single crop of silage off and that was about 170,000 litres. Um, grass, we got three cuts. Each one was just over 90,000 litres and about 93,000, which gave us about 280,000 litres of grass silage, uh, which is 66% more, which is quite a lot. That came with a time penalty though. So to do, I've based this off of the tractor hours and the way that I did this is um, I used the same tractor, brought from new all the way through for each of the two saves. And when I was forage harvesting, I used course play to run the forage harvester. So I was driving the tractor doing the carting. So I think it's a good representation of how long in total it took. Everything from starting with the harvested field through to having the clamp covered for the corn took me about an hour and 45 minutes. And that works out at about, don't get really anal about rounding of numbers, it just makes it easier, about 165,000 litres of silage per minute of gameplay. For the grass to do the, so from again, from mulching through to last covered clamp, um, it took me about four hours. I think actually it might have been covered clamp plus re-fertilizing the grass field, so re-rolling it at the end. It, it, it's kind of irrelevant in terms of the scale of the numbers. It was about four hours, and that works out at about 1,150 litres of silage per minute. So corn is a lot more time efficient if that's just what you're worried about and you're not worried about maximizing yield or if you're not doing something specific for feeding animals. That's a different question. Um, and then I've combined combined the repair and the fuel costs. For corn, it was £279 in repair and fuel costs for all of the equipment. Um, and that is a very tiny number of pounds per litre. And grass costs a little bit more, but not a lot. Um, you know, we're down in fractions of a penny per litre. So I don't think the cost of repair and fuel is really different. It's in the time and you could alter that as well with um, things like if you, um, if you used swathing mowers, you'd save yourself some time. I had to windrow and that was quite time consuming. Um, if you used swathing mowers and a pickup wagon or a baler, you know, um, grass, I think, is definitely more time consuming. So if you are flat out wanting the most efficient way to make some silage and I guess land or yield is not a concern. Corn is the way to go. Pretty, pretty clear. Um, if you want to maximize the yield, so income, then grass is the way to go, but it's going to take you longer. Um, yeah. Hopefully this has been interesting and useful. Um, thanks to Argy for the idea. It was kind of fun to, to do. Um, you can say roughly how long it took me from how long the tractor was working. Uh, yeah, it was it was good fun. Um, it's really nice to just sometimes 
sit and play farm sim and do this kind of thing so i enjoy it i enjoy compiling the data as well there is another one that he gave me an idea for which i need to do at some point um thank you to the youtube channel members and the patrons appreciate you guys supporting the channel and if you've got any comments or questions or whatever stick them below so if you haven't seen explicit numbers or game footage of it i didn't do it so i didn't do a forage wagon so i don't know how much quicker that would be or what the repair cost difference would be i didn't do a baler i don't know the numbers okay i did corn with a forage harvester and grass with mowers and a forage harvester picking it up um to give a baseline because that's what i did so all the other permutations i have not done and yes they could have cost more or less or been quicker or slower so place your comments appropriately i guess and uh yeah thanks for watching i will see you next time